मैम वॉइस विन पड़ा तो मैम Collecting the amount 
they are going to collect in future. So, for example, one lakh commercial bills are there with the business company. So, that uh, bills will be kept with the banker and the bank is going to provide that to that extent of amount to the business fee. But not 100, uh, 1 lakh rupee they are going to provide. Because they, they, that amount may be uh, recovered from the customer or not. That is uh, not uh, confident that a banker is going to collect that amount at least under 1 lakh rupees. Right? So, in such a case, they are going to charge certain uh, fees to the business people. The instead of paying one lakh to the business person, they may be paying certain ninety thousand or like. This amount is called as the fee that is collected by the bank in terms of service that was provided to the business person. And this banker he is going to collect the amount from the customer directly after the due date is paid. So in this manner, if you are going to get any finance from any banker, that is part of the account payable finance. Uh, most of the small uh, business people will be utilizing this uh, credit for, their, uh, for running their business. They then it is not wait uh, till the customers are going to pay the amount of the business. So they can facilitate by the by in their business business even discounted uh, discounted amount that they are going to get from the banker. So what they are going to do is they are going to keep this commercial to the bankers and they are going to get the amount and they are going to utilize it in their business. Another type of short term finance is customer advances. In most of the companies, like for example, if you are going to purchase any car. So, in such cases, what this uh, customer is going to do, they are going to pay certain They will book the car. So, in advance, they are going to pay certain Advance will be paid. So, all those are called as a customer advances. So, to sell the product or to provide any service, this uh, business people will be uh, asking the customer to pay the advance. Advance. So, certain products will be having this uh, facility of a customer who is going to pay the advance. That's the example you can take when we are going to purchase a car to be booking. For booking a car, we will be paying for an advance amount. That amounts are gone as a customer advantage. So, based on the uh, uh, orders, the number of orders, uh, the type of uh, advantage will be uh, collected from the customer. So, this, what happens like this if they are going to uh, get the advantage, they are not going to pay any interest to the customer. So, that amount they are going to utilize in their. Like funds, like a capital. Uh, automatically, that will be an advantage to business person. This type of uh, uh, funds can be utilized in their in running their business. And another type is it is uh, selling goods on installment. Nowadays, you can take this example of EM funds. Why people like that?
customer also have such an advantage of knowing uh, of paying the whole amount of money, even though the, the product is costly, still come forward to customers. So, like this, also they are going to take a run of the amount by selling their product. Uh, this was for uh, to attract the customer. They can sell some of the spending uh, for lost booth in the warehouse. And one more uh, thing that uh, comes under the top uh, process is trade credit. Uh, this is a uh, commonly used uh, type of uh, short-term finance. In the every uh, every Every business people will be coming forward. They are going to come forward with this type of a credit. Trade credit and what do you mean by this trade credit? Can anyone tell? So once if the uh, customer, uh, this uh, business person wants certain uh, raw material like that, the credit card, what they are going to do is they are going to allow you credit. So, uh, they will be supplying on credit, uh, that may be raw materials or sometimes any booze also. So, they will be providing this uh, trade credit, compulsory. Uh, that amount will be paid on an agreed period, period of time, one month or two months like that, but less than one year period. So, that comes under uh, only that one year, less than one year period. Uh, Credit will be coming under the trade credit. So, all these uh, business people will be using this type of uh, trade credit. This will be providing automatic course of finance. You know? So, we need to see that the function is not a financial opportunity. You need not provide that uh, one lakh rupee immediately. Yeah, by paying 10%, you are going to get the remaining 90% of the finance. You know? 90% uh, value of the uh, raw material. Uh, that we are doing. So we can say that 90% is the most of the of the time. To increase your production, you can utilize such type of uh, credit, trade credit. So if your uh, production is going to increase, you will be purchasing more, more and more parameters that will also increase your credits more and more. So you must be very careful while taking this. Uh, uh, this type of trade credits because they need to pay back the payment. Simply, um, simply increasing your uh, production is not enough. So, if you are going to neglect this automatically, uh, that will be uh, leading to uh, bad, bad day to the organization. Uh, in future, uh, no one will come forward to provide such type of trade credit to the business. Sometimes there will be issues in a bill of exchange. Uh, bill of exchange means to work. that extent of amount compulsory uh, note like in uh, which create and that can be exchanged with some other business people. Also. That we can be forwarded to some other business people. Like that, the bill of exchange bill of exchange and that can be exchanged among different business people. This type of short term finances are uh, required here by the business people. Which you can, if you are going to utilize them properly, that will be an advantage. If you are uh, not uh, utilizing that in a proper manner, that will lead to disadvantage because a uh, higher rate of interest may be charged. And another source uh, can, we can discuss about this non conventional sources. Non conventional sources. Uh, maybe of uh, selling of your assets. Sometimes what happens is people, business people, they are going to sell their uh, personal uh, assets 
like building if they are having. So that the building they are going to sell, uh, sell off, and that I mean they are going to utilize in the business to expand their uh, business purpose. They will be doing such type of things. So previously, non-conventional and non-conventional, so then these people are going to utilize such type of sources of finance. So, like this, if you are going to sell off your private uh, assets, so that uh, maybe utilized in your business, but uh, sometimes if you, it is not properly utilized, that may be lost in the business you are having. Uh, but still, uh, if they want to secure their amount, they will be utilizing this type of uh, selling of assets instead of. Uh, uh, making it a controlled record of the account, they will be selling their personal account. And they will be utilizing it in the day to day expenses. And another type of this uh, non conventional uh, source, maybe, uh, let's say, second one. Borrowing against the cash value of your life insurance. Some people uh, will be accountable to be having like life insurance. Right? So from life insurance, they will be uh, taking loans. So for example, uh, if a person, business person is having uh, uh, one lakh of uh, life insurance, they will be uh, taking loans on that life insurance, and that will that amount will be realized. Like that also, some people can be utilized as a source of a finance. So in such a case, policy holders will be allowed to borrow 90 percent of their value of policy. So these insurance insurers, so what they are going to do, they will be paying this amount uh, in terms of premiums. So there won't be any risk to pay any interest like. If they are going to, if any death uh, takes place to the policy holder, in such cases, the advantages which they are going to gain after that, uh, that advantage will be lost by the family member. Another uh, non conventional source you can take this as a second mortgage. Second mortgage, if any person is having his uh, own house, so on that house, he uh, will be taking a loan again, and that amount will be utilized in the business. Even though he is an owner, he will be taking, motivating his uh, uh, building, and he will be taking a second amount from that. Uh, on that building. So what this happens is we can reduce this amount in terms of interest. Not only technically we will pay such an amount of interest in Kanaka. So Kanaka is so they will be charged such an interest. So this interest they are going to include in the while preparing the final that will be included in the uh, profit and loss. Now I can Explain it. So that may be collecting your tax because your profit will be reduced. Actually, we should not forget that. that will reduce your profit. So automatically, that will reduce your tax. So some tax purpose people will be doing like in case if you fail to pay the amount, automatically you may lose your house. Some people may be utilizing this uh, vehicle also, uh, vehicle motorcycles, this company, and this is the They say they will be utilizing that amount in their business. Some other courses you can take franchising, licensing, this one to one, another expertise are utilizing this. Franchising and everything. This is one of the ways to get the source of the finance. So if you are going to give chances of your uh, business automatically, the other person who is going to take chances. He will be paying certain amount to this people and not only that, you will be growing, expanding your business in different areas. 
So like this also, you can use the button as a source of time. So all this comes under the non-conventional sources of finance. So based on the necessity and based on the convenience, you can use this non-conventional source. Even though it is free, it comes under the non-conventional source. You can utilize any of this. There is one more necessity. And you need to know what is the role of this business economics. What is a business economics is going to do? His main role is to identify what are the alternative solutions. Because any problem will be having different solutions. So this business economy is to what this person is going to do. He is going to identify the solutions for a single problem. So like uh, problems means here is maybe related with the uh, labor problem or pricing of your product problem. Any other problem which you may be uh, related with your business. So how they are going to solve these uh, solutions means they will be identifying they need first of all to identify the what is the problem. Labor problem means what is the labor problem?
I will be acting as an advisor to the company. We will be providing advice here and there where the problem is. We will be analyzing all the problems that may be related with the uh, investment, sales, promotion, long distance companies, neighbor relations, government policies, etc. All of the problems that we are going to come up with in running the business. As a manager, also, you will be coming here to handle this problem. You must be very careful and you must be in a position to be advised the company how to handle how to do So, as a business economist, you can do this. After completing this subject, how to solve it, you can easily think of the solutions to the company. And you should have a certain knowledge about the environment. Thank you. 